What is going on YouTube, Fez and family, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for all the latest UK me updates and story videos and check out today's video sponsor, Decrease. Guys, these come in three sizes, small, medium and large, they're only $9.99 and you can avoid getting creased shoes. Make sure you check out their website or their Instagram, links are on the screen and in the description. Guys, this is episode 25 of the story and we're going to be doing D-Block Europe. A lot of you guys requested them before, I've done young ads, but D-Block as a whole, I want to do them as a story video. Make sure you comment who you want to see on number 26, that will be coming Friday if this hits 1,000 likes, so smash that like button. Across the week, we can definitely do it and have another episode out for you guys. <laughs> So first things first, as always on these stories, we take it back and get into the intro and facts. So D-Block Europe currently have three active members, which is Young Ads, Dirt Bike, and Little Pino. All still very young. Young Ads is just 25, Dirt Bike is around 23 to 24, and Little Pino is just 18 years old. So guys, Ads and Dirt Bike have been killing it lately, track after track, and you might be saying, where's Little Pino? Of course, he dropped his first solo track recently, Maya Mills, and he hasn't put out much work lately. He's currently inside, but Young Ads has been updating us on Snapchat, saying he's going to be home very soon. A lot of you guys that subscribed haven't pressed the bell. Make sure you press the bell when you subscribe, because I will be letting you know updates on when Little Pino comes home. Go on, go on. Go on. I, 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 22, you know what I'm saying? So 22 and shit. I, I, come on, man. Everyone that held it down in the fucking Ramadan, man. I, mashallah, man. Blessings coming, man. Soon home, you get me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, gang shit. Soon home, my nigga, man. Soon home, bruh. Gotta charge it to the game, man. This life is real, for real, for real. You know, man. Best describing D-Block Europe's actual style is that auto-tune new wave. They've really set trends and their wave music is literally the best word for it. They said they want to be the waviest in the game and that's what they intend to do and over the next couple of years they're going to try different ways of approaching music. To be honest with you, from what Young Ads was doing back in the day, that gun talk ain't important Cause at the end of the day it ain't gonna be my mum That's morning see me looking easy But trust me we put the work in flats See me looking greasy in that mess tracky act Wait where's my Aki stack? Came from the dirt to the dean We hurt the scene Praise a lot and still put work in the streets this That was some day. early rapping He was very young then But going from some talking type rapping style To some very very high music He definitely took a risk in the D-Block Europe approach By remixing stuff like Kodak Black song Tunnel Vision They really took a different style and approach to their music there's a lot of relation and deep rooted stuff in their music it's one of them ones that you can really feel that's why they have a cult fan base their views go crazy in the first hour a cult fan base is when you put your soul into something and you really get that out of that music like they sit in the studio they protect their energy they're really focused on their music and you can tell it just comes through on every track Young Ads would be the first to approach the music scene, of course getting a record deal very very early on was a good thing for him, he got to find out how the scene was and what he could and couldn't do, by the time he formed D-Block Europe in 2014 to this present day, they've had 6 years in the game and they've grown crazy, that early success went to him and he said he spent his advance quick with dirt bike and didn't really make the most of a good deal. He didn't get a lot of money but he said it was a good deal for his age and he signed with the people that had end dubs but didn't make the most of it. Dirtbike was in a lot of his early videos and came in later, then he would recruit Little Pino and I'm sure they would get other members in the future. They're from South London and Young Ads is from Lewisham and they've grew up in the band though. That's why there's so many references to it and every song talks about it. It's really what they grew up in. His friend he used to call a bando baby and that's where that come from. And all these references is really what they live which I appreciate about them. Of course they're not living that life anymore. They got music now. But a lot of this music is just relaying past experiences and the trauma they had from back in the day. As for their rise on the music scene, they would start out by putting tracks on Link Up TV and their own channel. Link Up TV was a big part of their growth and their own channel they've built over the last couple of years as well. Their first song they had called Squad was on 1.2 million views. They made a song again on there called Free Gutter which got 3.6 million views which is a good track to this day. And like I mentioned earlier, on their own channel they had the Tunnel Vision remix. That's on 3.4 million views. They had Love of the Money as well which is on 600k. Then they would move and make more on their platform but make movements across the Grand Daily where they would really blow up and start releasing actual projects. A lot of the stuff we just spoke about got their numbers till today because their other stuff blew up in the future. They wasn't getting great amount of views straight away and had to build up for ages and even Young Ads is putting in work from ages ago. It's been a slow wind up for them. Young Ads has spent countless years in the game and D-Block alone have been in the game for six years.
year. The projects they've released over the years, in July 2018, they had Any Minute Now, which peaked at 14. They had Home Alone, which was in February 2019, which peaked in the UK at 6. Then they had PTSD, which was in September 2009. That peaked at 4, making even more improvements on that. And then more recently, at the end of 2019, at number 9, they had Street Trauma. Releasing three projects in one year, 2019 was a big year for them. But let's talk about some of the tracks that are on the best numbers on YouTube. Of course, across all these projects, D Block Europe have put out a lot of videos, and their most successful ones is Kitchen Kings, which is on 29 million views. Their song with Young Bane, Gucci Mane, that is on 60 million views, large amount. Where the car actually, there's a funny story behind the car that I'm gonna tell one day in that video, it actually belonged to someone who's doing a lot of illegal activity, which come out large amounts, got 16 million views. They had the song The Shard as well, talking about how they hit in the Shard, that got 50 million views, and my favorite song of theirs. Still to this day is trap house that got 13 million nasty also on 30 million and darling on 11 million they had the song with little baby which got 10 million they had dig that feature hit 10 mil as well they've done other crazy numbers across tracks and their features they're most known for is the m huncho features they've had features of crept and conan and nate smalls also little pino had his debut track maya mills which is on over 4.5 million views already he's meant to be coming home soon i'm excited for that he's got a very very promising future ahead of him that's not all the d-block europe traps that are sick there's loads they've had countless projects so the amount of tracks on YouTube is crazy. You guys have your favourites. I picked out some of the most notable ones just to show their journey and how far they've come. As for their future, I can see them being one of the biggest forces in the UK scene for the years to come. They've got a different style. They don't really sound like anyone. They're on their own wave. When Drill started popping and stuff, they really stuck to their guns on what they're doing and built up their own solid cult fan base. The only thing that had me worried is more recently when Young Ads went to rehab. Of course, he was posting up a lot of stuff on Snapchat about perks and stuff and doing all these things, which he have been doing for years. They've had that lean wave. And um, there was two instances where... Young Ads kept going on Instagram live all the time, he looked a bit out of it, he was just countless lives and he just, he sensed there was a bit of a problem and he put up on Twitter that he's going into rehab and it seemed very successful, he sees him good spirits and good energy right now and Dirt Bike obviously of course was in hospital due to that stuff as well, there's a limit. When you're an artist and stuff and you're wavy, you go in the studio, you have a good time. But as long as he manages it and keeps his health intact and his mental health intact, it should be fine. But that's the only concern I have for them. As for their music making, they produce songs like it's nothing and have got serious talent. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Story. I can't believe we're on 25 episodes already. We're going to be looking to go to 100. So let's keep pushing and banging these out. Just comment who you want to see next as always. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to press the subscribe button. But when you're there, push the notification bell as well. Because that will give you an update on when I post. And you will know the next episode's out. Also, I'm going to update you on the little Pino situation as well. Not many details at the moment. I'm going to go investigate and have a look for you guys. Hopefully he's home soon. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.